Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the duplicate view command in Revit. Here we are in Revit 2016. The duplicate view command is located in the view tab of the ribbon, create panel, duplicate view. There are three types of duplicate views, one that's called duplicate view, one with a detailing, and one as a dependent. You can also right click the view in the project browser and go to duplicate view and pick one of the three choices. The first one, duplicate, creates a copy of the level one that you're working with. The only difference is that it doesn't copy across annotation. So if I tile the two views together, you can see this one, which is the level one copy one, which I can rename so there's no confusion. We're going to call it level one uh, duplicate you'll see the annotation is missing. See that annotation, that annotation, that annotation is missing over here. And even the callouts annotation is missing over here. If I go back to level one, right click and say with detailing, then that information, the annotation also comes across. So now if I rename this one, I'm gonna call it do with detail. And then lastly, duplicate as a dependent will create another view underneath the main view and this will be known as the child view against the parent view whereas the other two are on the same hierarchy level of the parent view. If I look at duplicate level one dependent one you'll see that the crop region is turned on by default and the reason they do that is because in a dependent view you're using it to do things like cut up the floor plan so that it fits um, on the sheet of paper that you want, say maybe there's going to be an upper portion of the floor plan and then there's a lower portion of the floor plan. So I can drag and adjust the limits of what I see uh, for this dependent view. You will also see a dashed line which, which represents the annotation crop region. And what that does is it controls the limits of any annotation that is seen uh, in this parent view. So once you're finished, you can hide that information as well if you have to. And that would be the, and that's what's known as the dependent view. And that's it. That's how you use the duplicate view command in Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.